Okay, I thought I'd make a detail responding to the media hype about the impending attack and the, the fear of North Korea. Uh, you know, a lot of people in America especially, including myself, like the largest things we ever heard about South Korea was just the various conflicts with North Korea. And upon living in Korea for a year and a half, it's, it's generally not on people's minds. I guarantee you more people are concerned about North Korea in America and the Western world because how the media blows it up than in South Korea. And this country's on the friggin' front line. Um, and it's largely because North Korea's had this rhetoric, you know, oh, we're gonna attack South Korea. And they've said it like every week for the last 60 years. So the people here are just desensitized to it. They're like, well, today they said they're going to turn us into a lake of fire. Well, yesterday they said they were going to turn us into hell on earth. So there's really, like, you know, and they've been doing it for 60 years. So people just don't care. Um, and also, like, I, I think something that really needs to be stressed is I've looked at, you know, military analysis, statistical information, and if it was just a one-on-one -on -one fight, South Korea versus North Korea. North Korea would, or <laughs> North Korea, North Korea would lose in a matter of probably like a week. Just it's all about technological superiority. Uh, North Korea hasn't had any significant upgrades to its standing army in like forty years. Okay, a lot of people are like, oh, but Corey, they have nuclear weapons. Um, you can look up statistics about their nuclear weapons. And their nuclear weapons that they have could barely take out a city block. Um, not to say that that's not scary. Like, trust me, like, you know, a city block being wiped out is pretty scary. But it's still, you know, when people think nuclear weapons, they think like, oh, this could wipe out New York City. But no, we're talking about something that could, you know, barely wipe out a city block. Um, and also, you know, North Korea doesn't have any missile technology yet. You know, oh, they launched some satellites, but I mean, I think all those mis or all those uh, satellite launching rockets, they, they, they don't easily translate into, you know, direct targeting missiles that have pinpoint accuracy that can detonate a block-sized nuke in the middle of a major city. So it's, I, I just, I think the media is searching for a story. And I think that's why they're making this North Korea thing such a big deal. Um, and even if North Korea does do some kind of military maneuver, the world will get behind South Korea. Like, China's enforcing the new sanctions. There's, there's no epic conflict that will resolve from this. This will be the entire global community laying the smack down on a small, insignificant country. Uh... And uh, I, I largely think that the world community in general, ha they, well, the media loves to talk about how evil North Korea is, but I think just kind of the international community has more or less been like, look, North Korea, you're kind of crazy, so we're just going to let you do your thing as long as you keep it indoors. Um, and, like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, South Korea, don't you want to reunite and be one country with North Korea again? And a lot of people say no. Because of this, a lot of people, they've looked at the German example, when East Germany and West Germany reunified. Uh, West Germany had to give a lot of money and a lot of economic assistance to make East Germany better. And South Korea realizes that they'd have to do that, but also, like, times ten. Because North Korea's infrastructure is really weak, um, and they just don't want to deal with it. You know, they. I think that even if, like, North Korea gave up tomorrow and said, "Hey, South Korea, take us in," like South Korea would have a debate about it. They'd be like, uh, I, "I don't know if we want to," um, and uh, I think they eventually would, just out of cultural sympathy. But, I mean, if there was some kind of war to reunify, it would just be so destructive, probably especially to the north, that the south wouldn't want to take them up and rebuild them. Um, so, 
it's it's just I keep reading stuff about it on the internet. People are emailing me, Corey, aren't you so concerned? Oh my god. I'm not. Because even if North Korea does something, well, first of all, I'm in like the middle, middle of the country, so I'm kind of out of the immediate firing line. But second of all, it's, it's suicide. It's absolute suicide for North Korea to act. So I, I'm, I'm not concerned. Anyway, if, uh, if you want to make a follow-up video about this with specific questions, I'll be glad to do it. So, peace out.